Hello everyone, I'm Coral. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here with a book haul at the beginning of the month because my birthday is at the beginning of this month. It's gone. It's done. I'm 30, which is weird, but I'm okay. I'm okay about it. I'm not having a crisis. Anyway, for my birthday, I got uh, some gift card money. And so of course I had to hit up Barnes and Noble and oh my gosh, I found so many books. And I think my mistake typically is that I don't really look in this section that's just labeled fiction. Now that we have like a sci-fi and a fa I mean, we always had sci-fi fantasy, but we've got like a horror section and a mystery thriller section. And so that's where I look like in the genre books, but I have found three books here, two that are really more like horror and one sci-fi book that were just like in the regular book section, the fiction. And like, like they aren't genre fiction. So I found more books than normal and I'm very happy about it. Uh, first though, um, I would like to tell you about From Below by Darcy Coates, which is a new release book. This is about a diving crew who go down to investigate the wreck of this ship called the SS Arcadia that disappeared for like 30 years or something like that. And they're going down to explore, take pictures, film, and really just to find out like what happened to the ship and why it ended up where it did because it is way off course at this point and the team gets stuck below. And oh my gosh, I can't wait. Uh, I haven't read any Darcy Coates before. I bought one of her books recently and haven't gotten to it yet. So maybe I should do that and then, you know, get into this and figure out what's happening. This is one of the books I found just like in the fiction section. This is Devil House by John Darniel. I read one of his books once. I read Wolf in White Van and I did not like it. So I'm really stepping out on a limb here to see if I like this. Uh, it reminds me a lot, the, the synopsis reminds me a lot of um, Within These Walls by Anya Allborn, where there is a main character who is a true crime writer and he gets invited to live in the house where a murder takes place. And you know, this guy is trying to chase fame he at one point, you know, had a really great book that he put out and his career has kind of lulled since then, just like within these walls. So I'm interested in how this will play out. Seems like the house has got to be kind of creepy and yeah, I mean, I guess I'll see. I also bought volumes five and six of Blood on the Tracks by Shuzo Oshimi. I'm planning on reading three and four this month. And so like when I saw five and six there, I was like, well, I should pick these up because I really like this so far and I'm not really sure what's going on, but I want to know more. This is about a kind of like middle school, maybe he's like 12, 13 year old boy named Seiichi and his mother is very doting to the point where she is almost a helicopter mother, but in a way that's so sweet, it's almost like you're not sure if she is doing anything wrong, if she is being overbearing because she's just trying to help, you know? But uh, in the first volume, something tragic happens in their family and it changes everything. And that's all I'm gonna say about it. Then I found Little Girls by Ronald Melfi. So of course I had to pick this up. I had no idea this was being reprinted, but I believe this is one of his novels that there's quite a few of them that just ended up being out of print, you know, at this point. So they're hard to find, but some of them are getting reprinted. And I think this might be one of them. Uh, this is about um, Lori, who comes back to her childhood home. Um, she has a really terrible relationship with her father, but he has worked through some of his shit and they're trying to like mend their relationship. But Lori just like doesn't get a good feeling about being back there. And she isn't sure if like what's going on is all in her head. And also her dad's having some issues with knowing what's reality and what's not. So she's like, well, is this something genetic? Like, is this, am I suffering from the same thing my dad is? And so it's very mysterious, but one thing is for sure, 
her daughter has a new best friend and mysteriously this new best friend looks a lot like a child who died when Lori was younger. So big mystery, very interested in this. I really love Ronald Malfi. Then I found Kaiju Preservation Society by John Scalzi, which has been on my radar this year. This is a sci-fi book. It's about this guy who gets the offer from a friend to work for like an animal rights organization and it really beats what he's doing right now as like a food delivery dude. But he finds out that he is not looking after normal animals. He's actually looking after animals from a different fucking dimension, kaiju. Like I think they're giant pandas, which is like so much fun. And yeah, you know, he's gonna help protect these kaiju. These kaiju pandas. I also found Light Years From Home by Mike Chen. I think that this is his most recent book, but I've had my eye on his stuff for quite a while. Of course, I always try to find like a used copy first unless I happen to find it at Barnes and Noble. I don't often like, unless I'm pre-ordering something, I don't often go online and buy something new. You know what I mean? But I found this and I'm very excited. Um, it seems like he writes lighter sci-fi uh but anyway this book really appealed to me because it's about this family right and there is a mom two sisters a brother and a dad and they are camping in the past it was like 15 years ago they were camping and their dad and their brother mysteriously disappear from the campground and a couple days later they find their dad who says he was abducted by aliens, but their brother doesn't come back. And this really splits the family in half because one sister believes that this really happened, that the dad and the brother were abducted by aliens, and the sister thinks that the brother probably just ran away. And now the brother's back and things are getting crazy and I'm just really intrigued by this. I love alien stuff and this seems like not very spooky alien? I don't know, we'll have to see. Um, it sounds great. And because I saw this, I decided to pick this up. This is The House Across the Lake by Riley Sager. And this reminds me of the premise of um, the girl on the train, right? Um, gosh, it's been so long since I read that. The girl on the train, or is it the girl from the train? Anyway, this is about a older woman, a retired actress, and she has a house on the lake and across from her house on the opposite side of the lake is a younger couple who also own a home and the actress has taken to kind of uh, peeping on them, which is very creepy, but she does eventually strike up a friendship with the wife of the couple, but the wife ends up going missing and the retired actress thinks that the husband might have something to do with it, so. Um, really reminds me of the girl on the train. What the fuck ever that was called. Okay, and the last book I ended up picking up at Barnes & Noble was Hidden Pictures by Jason Rekulak. It got blurbed by Stephen King. Stephen King he said he loved it, so who knows. But this is about a woman who becomes a live-in nanny for um, a couple and their young son, and the son is creatively gifted. Uh, he likes to draw a lot and I think that's the coolest part of this book is that we get to see, I don't want to spoil myself, but I saw like the first one was not spoilery. He likes to draw things, right? Cute things like bunnies, but his drawings start to get more and more sinister and it seems like he is um, drawing depictions of like a murder that happened. And so of course the nanny is very concerned and interested in this and that's it, that's all I know. So there's that. So those are my birthday books this year. I, it was just really such a great time <laughs> at Bards and Noble this time. Sometimes um, are not as fruitful as others and I'm grateful for my dad who sent me a gift card and I, you know, got to spend some birthday money at my favorite place. So that's it, that's what I bought for my birthday. <sighs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a great month. I hope July treats you all well. Well, that's it. I will see you guys later. Goodbye.